Okay, friends. Assalamu alaikum wa uh, Today we are going to discuss uh, the basic functionalities uh, from the end user level uh, of cost center accounting, which is one of the core modules in controlling uh, the business processes in cost center accounting. So we abbreviate it as CO, OIM, and CCA. That is the controlling cost center uh, overhead management cost center accounting, and. Uh, Let's uh, draw a, a sort of, uh, so let's assume we have three different cost centers. This is the demonstration of three different departments or the cost centers, right? So the first cost center say is IT support, right? So this is the IT support cost center. The second cost center say is admin. And the third cost center we assume is the production where the production takes place. So in the cost center accounting, the first important thing that we do is the, the planning. So it is actually the planning. So in planning, the first important thing is that we plan for the primary cost elements. So by primary cost element, we mean different expenses. So if we plan for different expenses for every cost center, so let's say this is the expense one expense two expense three amount for cost center one and this is for two and this is for three right so this can be different expenses different amounts so they are being planned so the first thing is primary cost elements planning the second important thing is let's change the color is planning for statistical key figures so statistical key figures are actually different uh, non-financial numbers which are used in the cost costing exercise so it may be number of employees number of computers in a department number of telephone calls number of kilowatt hours consumed number of it uh, uh, equipment in a uh, in an organization right so we plan them so for example we plan the statistical key figures which will be used in the costing exercise so they may depend on the organization concerned so we plan for all of them right all the cost centers the third important thing that we plan is the activity types so what is activity type so activity type is a, a sort of an activity uh, which can be measured quantitatively which one department one cost center performs for other cost centers or for other profit centers so for example over here we can see that uh, the IT support department is uh, we can measure that IT support will be providing services of IT support to other cost centers to admin and production and if they can measure their IT support service in terms of number of hours how many hours they will be providing IT support so this will become an activity type so we plan an activity type for say IT support so there will be no activity type over here not relevant not relevant so the fourth important thing that we do let's change the color is actually we plan for the uh, let's do it green so we plan for the cost allocations so a very important exercise a very important business process that we do in controlling cost center accounting is the allocation so by allocation we mean that based on these statistical key figures or based on these uh, activity types right so allocation is actually allocating of primary cost elements that is the expenses on the basis of either statistical key figures or activity types right to other cost centers to cost centers right so what we mean by over here that the admin department is actually performing some services for the production department and for the IT support department so eventually that cost of the admin department has to be divided on the production department and IT service department whatever cost we have planned earlier so we plan this allocation so usually this allocation will be on the basis of some of the statistical key figures, right? So some of the statistical key figures may be number of employees or number of square footage covered. So this will be used for the cost allocation of admin department. We will also allocate, for example, the cost of other departments. So let's assume the cost of uh, IT support. Now this will be allocated based on activity type because we have already defined the IT support activity. That IT support is actually performing some activity for the department. So based on this planned activity, uh, the IT support cost will be allocated to the admin department and IT support cost will be allocated to the production department. And again, this will be taken into consideration, this activity, different activities, right? So let's link it somewhere. 
so this is the cost allocation part so there are two uh, uh, broad methods of cost allocation one is the uh, um, uh, cost allocation based on statistical key figures and there are other variants in it which is the distribution and assessment we shall discuss in the different video and one is on the basis of activity types again we have two variants the direct activity allocation and indirect activity allocation so we will see in other videos so these are the four different things which we plan in the cost center accounting the second important thing we do in the cost center accounting is actually uh, the budgeting right so the second important thing we do is the budgeting now the question comes into mind what's the difference between planning and budgeting right so in sap planning and budgeting are two different exercises right planning is, is actually setting the standards doing the forecast and actually eventually working out the variances and towards the end of the period for uh, doing the performance evaluation of the cost centers and the cost center managers so planning is uh, is something which has a bigger scope which has a bigger purpose in sap but the budgeting is something which has relatively a narrow, narrow scope so budgeting is uh, mainly for the sake of the approval of the expenses for the release of the cash or payments again the expenses so we do budget let's uh, choose a different color right so we will have a different video recorded for the budgets as well so what we do the budget so we budget different expenses over here again so they can be the same expenses ideally the plan expenses and the budget expenses should be the same but they are not necessarily the same because the purpose of the two exercises is different the purpose of budgeting is actually to control the expenses right so budgets are expectedly being conservative supposed to be less than the plan the plan is what we expect the cost will be uh, and setting the standards whereas the budget is when we want something uh, every time an expense is being incurred we want its necessary approval we want the workflow to take place for example in the budgeting uh, when we set the budgeting parameters and configuration in sap we can set that well whenever 60 percent budget of a department is exhausted so start warning popping up the warning when 80 percent is exhausted start uh, block the expenses for example so the expense must has to be approved by a higher authority or if the 90 percent or 100 percent of the budget is met so block the uh, payment so there can be no more payment unless the budget is revised or things like that so budgeting has a relatively narrow scope uh, and it's mainly integrated with the release of uh, cash for the recording of expenses so if the budget does not allow recording of an expense or uh, th the limits are set then in the fi component when you will start recording the expense uh, the system will pop up so with uh, with some warning or maybe stop recording the expense because the budget doesn't allow and you have to make necessary changes in the budget or things like that and the third important thing that we do in the cost center accounting uh, uh, i'm sorry so is actually uh, the actual costing and reporting so by costing we do not mean costing of the product right costing of the product does not take place in this module in the cost center accounting the costing of the departments takes place only right so one important thing to note over here is that uh, the cost center accounting module is relevant uh, for even the trading company as well and the manufacturing company as well because even in the trading concern there are different departments and the departments have different plans and different standards and different uh, cost centers have different uh, expense targets and their performance is to be evaluated on the basis of the plans and there are budgets so cost center accounting is a module which is relevant for manufacturing as well as relevant for the trading concerns so in the actual remember the uh, in the actual the the actual uh, expenses part the first thing uh, uh, the uh, posting of the primary cost elements which is the posting of the expenses it takes place in fi so the actual posting of expense comes through fi posting of primary cost elements right so primary cost elements i'm sorry i'm not much used to using this equipment which i'm using uh, for this recording of this video so posting of primary cost elements so this takes place in fi but the rest of the things uh, let's uh, let me choose some highlighter over here uh, the rest of the things these things right so these are all things takes place which take place in uh, uh, in actual as well so we do enter actual skf right we do enter actual skf in the cost center accounting we do enter actual activity types in the cost center accounting and we do actual allocations right of the cost and cost center accounting of these 
uh, expenses or primary cost elements which have already been posted in the FI. And then of course in the reporting part we do the performance evaluation of the cost centers and there are various report of the comparison with the plan, comparison with the budget and the variances uh, and the total uh, cost element wise report and cost center wise reports uh, and etc etc. So there are a variety of things that can be done. So that's it friends. Uh, this is the uh, basically the, the brief functionality of the uh, cost center accounting. So that's number. This was actually number three. In the next video we shall see some further uh, details of the cost center accounting. Thank you.